morning and welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft which is what we're going to do this morning for an hour. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp in the UK, and we're about to hang out and doodle our lovely Marina Fedotova poppets again for an hour. So uh, so I hope that you're there. Do come in. And uh, Paul, perhaps you could just let me know that the sound is good, and then we'll get cracking. I'm early to the party, and I'm waiting for you now. You rock. So come on in, grab a cup of tea. It's very overcast here in the southeast of England. What about where you are? What's the weather like where you are today? Hmm? Is it feeling Christmassy yet? Good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Hello, Melanie. Lovely to have your company. And here they come. So I'm hoping that we can all hang out for an hour together. I know that, you know, Christmas is round the corner. And uh, I've just realised my glasses are so filthy. I can't. You can't. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No wonder I can't see much. Um, Christmas is around the corner. Have we got our preparations? Are we, are we on top of things? Are we? <laughs> no, we're not. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm not going to panic. It's just another day, isn't it? Come on in. Good to have your company. Sound is good, says our Paul. Paul's in the building with you today, so if you have any questions, he's your man. Um, yeah, and I thought we'd just take it easy. Okay? This year's been the travel gently year, and aren't we glad that we said that at the beginning of the year? Do you know these glasses are just one big schmear? <laughs> um, yeah, aren't we glad that we said we'd travel gently this year? You know, last year in the shack, we went on all over the world, didn't we? We we went everywhere and the and our doodle projects were getting more and more challenging, you know. And it was good because we were together every single day from Monday to Friday. And it kept us, it kept us on the straight and narrow, it kept us focused, it kept us safe, and it kept us creative. And I think a lot of us got a lot out of it, you know. And then this year we decided to just wind it back a little bit and maybe not not stretch ourselves quite so much. Do you agree? And it's been good if for me, you know, I think I think several people in, in the shack were thinking, oh, it's getting beyond my reach. And it was starting to create anxiety and stress because people didn't think they were good enough. You know, do you remember we used to say back in the day, uh, there are no experts in this building. Do you remember? There are no experts in this building. There's nobody judging you. It's not a competition. It's not who's better than who. Nothing to do with it. All you need to join in is a piece of paper and a pencil, remember? So we have to take it back to basics sometimes. And I felt the last, the last few weeks, it's all been a little bit of a challenge out there, hasn't it? Come on in. Good morning. Grab a seat. I've put the heating on. Uh, it's all been a little, bit, a little bit of a challenge the last few months. And, uh, and so I'm really glad that we kind of toned it down a little bit, you know, because this whole hanging out together is supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> OK, that's the key here. Now, let me see. Uh, is everything OK? I think so. Let's see. So the only thing that you do need today, last week, we were working on the uh, on the poppets, weren't we? On the poppet postcards. So let's just have a look at what, just in case you're new to the fold, new to the shack, welcome. You're in a safe place, a kind place, a creative place. Yeah. And there ain't many of them in the building. You don't get many of them for the pound. We've got viewers from Germany, Spain and Australia. Australia. Golly. What time? Who's in, a, who's in from Australia? What time is it there? It must be 12 hours so, oh, it's 10 o'clock in the evening, is it? 10 o'clock in the evening in Australia. Well, welcome. Welcome. Um, that's great to know. Thank you, Paul. Let's have a look. These are the pop-it postcards that we're working on. Um, we've got the Christmas ones, the flower ones, and the whimsy ones. And, and this, they're really nice. They're, they're, they're sets of postcards, and they've got, each of them has got a little and a large one. 
So that they're great for colouring in, they're great for card toppers, they're great for presents. They're just great little arty projects, really. Um, and we've got the flower ones, we've got the whimsy ones, which, which are great for little girls. Look, really nice. Really, really nice. Marina Fedotova, Russian illustrator, has licensed this artwork to us kindly. And, um, and she also says that if you, if you make these cards and you can sell them in small quantities, I mean, I don't expect this stuff to turn up in Clinton's or we will have a problem, but if you, if you make things to sell in reasonable quantities, she gives us our blessing. Well, there you go. You can't beat that, can you? So for all of you good people who make cards for charities, yes, is the answer from Marina. I like that. Right, now, and today we're working on the Christmas ones. So these are gorgeous. These are really, really lovely. You see, we printed these, didn't we, on, um, on parchment as well, which is lovely. Really nice. Instant art or what. Uh, they were beautiful. Uh, See, and the one that we're working on at the moment, this is the one that we're working on at the moment in par on parchment. Look, you see, it's already coloured in for you. But because it's on parchment, you can add all the white work and the grid work and that. So that's pretty cool. They're very popular, those. Very popular indeed. But what we're doing, Fortis in Arduous. Oh, yeah, remember that? This is my, I, the, I, I cherish this one have it sitting there and when I get some time I want to finish this and color it in strength in adversity I'd say so yeah that's going to be my motto that's going to be my motto next year fortis in arduous hey <laughs> right come on so where was I Christmas postcards these are so pretty so pretty and, uh, and some of them you may be familiar with. Remember we did this one in the shack last year. Now, where did I actually found that? Here you go. Look, we colored it in together. Isn't that lovely? That's all done with pencils. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, remember the blue, how to make a white dress look white by adding a little bit of blue? Well, we did the same thing this time. Last week, we started on this one. See? Oh, my God, we've got a set. Look, hey, wouldn't they make a lovely set of Christmas cards? I mean, if you haven't made your Christmas cards yet, worry not, nor have I. Oh, hang on, I've made two. <laughs> It'll be all right. It's going to be fine. It's fine. Make a list. Make a list. Makes you feel better. <laughs> Right, so what have we got here? Uh, gonna put that one to one side. Gonna hang on to that one. And we'll just move these. If you haven't got these, they're well worth investing in. If I'm not mistaken, let me make sure I put the Christmas ones in the Christmas one. Um, I'm sure we get three for two or something like that, don't we, Paul? Isn't it something like that? What have we got here? A pack of 12 postcards. So there's 12 in each one, six designs, two of each. So you've got 12, 12, and 12. And I'm pretty certain, Paul will help me out here, that you, you buy two and you get the third one free. And we've got, Paul says we've got, let's have a look here. We've got uh, Jenny Hopman's from Australia, 9 p.m. in the evening. Good evening, Jenny. That's weird because it's 10 a.m. in the morning here. And then we've got Tony Canis watching from Alberta, Canada. Three o'clock in the morning. Tony, Tony, it's bedtime, love. We do record these, you know. I know you enjoy the live experience, but whoa, that's early, my friend. Have you ever tried chamomile tea? That might help you sleep. Lavender on your pillow, that's a sure winner in the, in, in, at this, on this side of the, uh, the world. Um, three o'clock in the morning. Mind you, Paul, you were up at three o'clock this morning, weren't you? Because the blinking alarm went off at work. <laughs> and Paul's, Dave's first port of call when the alarm goes off at the factory. 
He didn't hear his phone because it was in the kitchen. Next port of call, Paul. Poor bloke. He had to go in. And yes, the postcards are three for two. 12 quid for all three. That's a pretty good deal, you know. Plus your club discounts. And if you haven't joined our club, then why not? <laughs> We've got four craft clubs. Come on, friends. So I'm going to do, this is, this is the business bit. So hang on, I've got to go. So if you go to the website, claritystamp.com, you'll find on the home page there'll be a place to, to answer all your questions regarding our clubs. There you go. Ho, ho, ho. And you can get these while you're there. <laughs> oh, she's cheeky, that Barbara Gray. Right. Okay, come on. We're going to colour in. And I was thinking what we ought to do is make a nice frame. We're on framing and finishing here. Framing and finishing. Boom. Number two. Let's have a look. So, see, we did. This is a nice one as well. Do you remember this little girl here? Now, where's she from? She must be from the floral set. And, oh, no, she might be from the whimsy set. Oh, Barbara, you don't know, do you? I think, no, she must be from the, the flower set. Let's check. No, she's from the whimsy set, isn't she? See, because I've used them all, I can't tell anymore. <laughs> uh, 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 it's not in my pack, so I'm assuming she's in the whimsy set. Yeah. Anyway, any who? Toadstool girl, we used her for all two. And then we drew this beautiful frame around the outside, didn't we? Here's one from the flower set. See, we've been on the frames all year, haven't we? We did that. This is all our own doodle. See, and the trick is to develop a style. Now, Marina, she has a very, very clear style. It's like you can see immediately. It's that style. And what we've done is we've emulated that style so that it, there's not, it doesn't jar. It, it looks the same, right? There. And what we're going to do now is create a border. This is what I thought would be nice. We'll make a border that kind of ties in, but but maybe it's our a little bit of our style or my style, because you're, I guess at this stage, you're emulating what I do. And then I think what happens with styles, right, is... Um, the more you do, the more you develop your own style of drawing or cooking or anything really, you know, and the older you get, like I'm doing pottery at the moment, you know, and, and there was a pop-up shop on Saturday and everybody was saying, oh, you should do it, you should do it. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. And I, th and, and I thought, Pixie is from the Whimsy set. There you go. Thank you, Paul. Um, the one on the Toadstool. So I was thinking about the, the pop-up shop and I've got loads of, I've got loads of pottery. I've been making, I've been quite prolific, you know, you know, kiln loads coming out. I've got my own kiln. But, and then I said, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Well, Dave said, why not? And I, my first reaction was because I don't think I'm good enough yet. Right. And Dave said, well, and he, he would say if I wasn't. He said, I think you are good enough. So I thought, yeah, but I don't think I am. It's a personal thing, right? Secondly, I thought, I dug deep and I thought, I don't want to be judged for my pottery. I don't want to be criticized for my pottery. I don't want people going, oh, the glazing's a bit ropey. Mm -hmm. See? Do I want to set myself up for that? No. I do enough of that on television. Do I want to set myself up for criticism? probably not. Should I care what people think? Probably not. Do I care what people think? Oh, yes, I do. You see? So all this was going on about this blinking pop-up shop. And then I'd made my mind up. I wasn't doing it. That's that. Not happening. But we went along to support, you know, and we, we took all the tables. So because, of course, when we do the NEC, we've got loads of tables and baskets and all the stuff that we need for our open day. So I said to the organisers, oh, we've got all that. We'll bring it in the van. You can use all our gear. No problem at all. That's fine. Um, and we went along just to see and to support just in case they needed some help. And, um, and as I was walking around, I having a little conversation in my head. I thought, yes, I think I probably would be good enough, right? 
And then I thought, have I got enough stock? Mm, maybe not. But the thing that hits me was as I was looking at all my friends' pottery and the ladies and the makers and the guys, right, they had styles. They all had their own style. So I could look at that table. The makers weren't there because of social distancing. They had to set up their stands and then go away, right? And then there were marshals helping. Um, so they weren't standing behind the jump, if you like. They weren't promoting themselves. And uh, but you could tell from I could tell from their style. I knew immediately. I looked at that table and I thought, well, that's Heather. That's Heather. And then I looked at that table and I said, that's Beverly. And then I looked at that table. And I said, well, that's Maria. And I just knew looking and I thought, that's what's missing. I haven't developed my own style, not of pottery. I have I do have a style in my drawings. Right. But I haven't got. I haven't been doing it long enough to develop my own style. And perhaps you can uh, relate to that. Maybe you, you get that. I, I haven't settled. I do a little bit of this. I do a little bit of that because I'm learning, you see, and I'm learning glazing. And I haven't settled on my favorite glaze yet. I haven't settled on my favorite colorway yet. I, because I'm in that learning stage, I'm doing a little bit of everything. And so... I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none at the moment when it comes to pottery, you know, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm not, I'm not doing it for business. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the joy of it. You know, it's not, I don't, it's not about getting to the top of the mountain. It's the climbing of the mountain that I, I get off on. I, it doesn't matter. The, the result's not the key, but I need something to head towards. I, you know, and, but you understand about the styles. Do you feel the same? You know, and I'm lucky that I don't rely. I don't rely on selling my pots. I don't need to. I'd rather give them away. At least when you give them away, people won't criticize them. Ha ha! Ain't that the truth? How many of you give away artwork instead of selling it because you you think, well, if I give it away, they can't go. Oh, this is a bit ropey. <laughs> But I tell you what, we're all the same. It doesn't matter which one of you is listening now. The, the vast majority of you think exactly the same as I do. I'm just saying it for everybody else. It is so true, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah. But we'll get over it. <laughs> and, and, you know, one of the best parts is, is this process here, the shack shack, right? And I'm, I'm not kidding. It, I didn't plan it. It's evolved into this for all of us because we have a safe, kind platform called the shack and we're learning really simple baby steps with doodles and illustrations. Right. Without even realizing it. And despite ourselves, because we've got clarity worldwide and groovy world, other safe, kind communities. I mean, Grace, my daughter, she marshals these places. You know, she's like she polices them. And she's, and so do I, and so does Jilly. There are several of us, and we police these rooms to make sure there's no unkindness, right? So you're always safe. And um, and what's happened is over the period of one and a half years now since we started the shack, I see you bringing your work out and showing your work. It's like the grayscalers, you know. I'm 12 stone eight. I never ever thought that I would actually publicly say that I weighed 13 stone five when we started the grayscalers. But because I did and I declared my hand, now there's 250 of us all losing weight at the same time. You know, we're all losing weight at the same time. Whether we're losing the same amount of weight at the same time is a different story. But we're not ashamed of it. It's not a stigma. We're not embarrassed. It's like, you know what? I'm 12 stone eight and I'm so excited that I'm not 13 stone five. Mm -hmm. and, and because I'm declaring my hand, my weight, so many of you are as well. And I think that's the same with the shack. It's good. It's all right, you know. And all these reservations and fears that we have about, you know, whatever they are, you're not alone. We're all in the same boat. I just happen to say it. I say what you think. I know I do. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's all right. So what we're going to do today I think I've waffled enough, my friends. And now you're well and truly in the building and your tea is getting cold. So 
what I thought, do you remember when we drew her, we added a little bit of this and that, didn't we? We added a few little additional lines. So, for example, if you go to the small one, which is identical to, to this one, you'll see we added doodles on the hats, didn't we? We used these pens, these micron pens. We added extra lines on the hat. We added, do you see the, the, the checker along the bottom of the skirt? We added that. See? We added extra lines. Where else did we add? Did we add anything else? But the thing is, because we did it in going back to this style thing, because we did it in the same style as the original artwork, we, we emulated M Marina's style. You can't see. It's like a little bit of a touch-up, isn't it? And then we're adding a little flash of originality, our own originality. Marina won't mind. She'd, she'd be happy that we're doing this, okay? I know. She'll be okay with this. So, so, so we've done that, we've done that, but the way that we added, let me just say, the way that we added these, rather than going in and then go, oh, hang on, that was, I could have done that differently, we took a bit of tracing paper, do you remember, this is one of those overlay tricks, and it's just, fold it in half, take a piece of tracing paper, fold it in half, then we slotted this in to the right hand side, look, see, and then that way, we know it's going to sit exactly, so that's, you can always tape it into place, but that worked a charm, didn't it? Just in that bottom right-hand corner, and you can see immediately it fits. So I was thinking, we need to put a frame around this. And I thought what would be really quite pleasant, because I love this sort of look, is if we wrote, you remember, like, see the Hello Autumn? You know that writing where where we write, we've done this before, where we write and we don't come up for air, we just keep going, yeah? This is your style now, it's not Marina's style, it will be your handwriting with a, with, a, with a couple of tricks and tips, okay? So before we do this, before we even go to the tracing paper, get a piece of paper, just a bit of copy paper, let's try it before we go to our, our artwork, shall we? Let's just give it a go. So you need a piece of copy paper and a pencil. Told you you didn't need much. That'll do. A pencil and a piece of paper, right? And then you've got to decide what you want to say. So this is, one. Well, we might have already done this. We've been together so long now <laughs> that I, I sometimes, I do fear that I'm repeating myself. <laughs> but well, what can I say? I do fear that I'm repeating myself. <laughs> okay, we're going to take this writing, okay, and decide what we want to say, and then we're just going to go for it. And you can say whatever you fancy, and we're going to go along the bottom, up the sides, along the top, and back down the other side. We're going to make a whole written frame. And you could start in the corner, decide who the card is for, for example, I've got a little verse that I'm going to start with, which is quite generic, but very appropriate for the little picture. And it's a good practice piece, but you could write anything you like. The thing you have to do, right, and here comes the mindful process. This is that, um, you know that, this is the best part of it really, isn't it? What we've got to do is write and concentrate that you get the spelling right. Okay, so you've got to concentrate now. And then we'll do it in a straight line. Then once we've done it in a straight line, then we can transfer it. Okay, let's see. So, for example, you could write, I love you more than anything else in the world. You, you know, you are the best. You could write whatever you fancy. I'm going to write because, because here we have a little bird. It's a little robin, you see, and I'm picking out that robin and I'm going to write a little verse around the robin. We've got a stamp that says this, and I think it's lovely. And it says, I heard a bird sing in the deep of December, a magical thing and sweet to remember. Are you ready? So let's start here. And we're going to start there. You can write, a, if you feel the need, you can take a ruler. There you go. So you don't go off at an angle. 
and then just write a really long line like that and then that will give you something to travel along. Hey, shall I come in a little bit tighter so you can see? Can you actually see anything? <laughs> if I go there and I go there. Oh, I've come off the page. There. That's all right. I'm on it. Right. So I'm going to start here. Right. I and it's all going to be joined up. No gaps. I heard a bird sing in the deep of December. I heard a bird sing in the deep of December. There you go. And I didn't come up for air. But the second time, I actually made more little gaps between the words, easier to read. And then you go back and cross the T's and dot the I's, etc. I heard a bird sing in the deep of December. Here we go again. Don't come up for air. Are you ready? A magical thing. And if you, if you, like now, I'm talking, I can't talk and write at the same time, but I'm not bringing my pen up. I'm just stopping, right? With a pencil, I can do this. With a pen, it might blob. Okay. A magical thing and sweet to remember. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful verse. I heard a bird sing in the deep of December, a magical thing and sweet to remember. Boom. And now I'm going to take that. How are you getting on? Do you like your writing? Do you like your writing? I find, I find when you write like this, it. It's art. It's 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 not script. It's not textbook. It's not what you would write in a letter. It's it's you're trying to get a really beautiful flourish that actually says something. That's all it is, right? So so whether you like your handwriting or not, you might you might hate your handwriting when you're writing a letter, but your handwriting might be absolutely perfect for this kind of mixed media type art which is what we're doing here. This is very mixed media. And, you know, when you, the other trick now, what we're going to do now is take that and see if we can make it half as long. Try that. So we've done a magical thing and sweet to remember. Blah, blah, blah. Now see if we can make, see if we can stop there. See if you can write, I heard a bird sing in the deep of December in that area there. Now that I know I can't, but I'll give it a go. It means I've got to start really, really tiny. Right, here we go again. I Wow, I'm going to get the whole lot in. There you go. I heard a bird sing in the deep of December. So I look, I missed this. I've got that. I've got that. Start again. So now I know that I can stretch a little bit if that's the distance I want to travel, right? So here we go again. I I can afford to be a little bit more generous. Heard a bird sing in the see and if you start to deep of and now I can December that's better see so it's about watching where you're going and stopping without taking your pen off so a magical thing and sweet to, and now I've got to put remember in rem, and get it spelt right. There you go. A, a magical thing, a sweet to remember. Nice. And what is lovely about this is if, if somebody has to really concentrate to see what it says, you see, that, that's really nice. And, and if they start have to turn the artwork to see what you've said. You see, and you could write a really personal message, you know. You know, darling Dave, I value your friendship and your love more than you will ever know. And then he's reading it. It's good. It's cool. Yeah. So decide what you want to say. 
And then, so now you've got several, so how far are we going here? It's quite big, isn't it? So you somewhere in between these two. See, so you practice a little bit. You've got your spelling right. Then we'll take this one. Now let's see how we go with this one. And I'm going to come in a bit. So I'm going to make a dot about there, there, about half an inch in, like so. So I'm not running around the outside. I'm coming in about half an inch like that. I think that'll do. And I could also use the ruler if I feel that will help me. Right. So I could put a little border in, couldn't I? That'll do. Just gives you a little bit of orientation. Some people need it, some people don't. But I think it's a good idea to do this on, on um, tracing paper as an overlay. Then you can decide if you like it or not. Now, once you've put it on your artwork on here, it's always going to make a leave a mark, isn't it? It's always even when you rub it out, you're still going to leave a little mark. So let's do it on here, and then we can always transfer it afterwards once we're happy with what we've done, can't we? Right, here we go again. Right, so we're going to start over here. I and it doesn't matter. I don't have to get to December here. If I get to December here, I just keep going. It's an on repeat. So I can write, I heard a bird singing, little, 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 remember, I heard a bird singing, little, 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 and then I could go, I heard a bird sing. It's just a continuous, it's a loop, okay? It's loopy art, <laughs> all right? It's loopy writing, and it's on a loop, so it just keeps repeating itself. So you haven't got to worry that it's going to, how are you going to get to the end here? Don't even give it a second thought. This is not a stressy exercise right here we go i let me see how big i want to go i heard a bird sing in the the deep or the dark the i'm going to write dark this time dark of december Ooh. right uh Mad. Now that's rubbish. <laughs> a magical thing and sweet to remember. Okay. So I could have actually used a little bit more magic. <laughs> I heard, I'm going to go again because <laughs> at least I don't want to put magic all around the corner. That is rubbish, Barbara. Bra bra. <laughs> right. And that's why we do it on scrap or on tracing paper so that when we rub it out, we haven't torched our work at the same time. There you go. And that's why we do this. So, Barbara, concentrate. Do it again. Right. I. Bird, a bird sing in the dark or deep of December. A magical <gasps> thing. That's better. A magical thing, and then sweet to remember up here. And that's quite nice. Sweet to remember yeah we like see and then you could probably do a little i don't know a little heart or something like it's the end of the the end yeah let me go again shall we do a couple of little hearts there you go <laughs> i heard if we go again i heard uh Bird sing in the what are we on the dark oh, of December. Thinking, thinking, a magical thing. Oh, good, that fits. Here we go. <laughs> a magical thing and sweet to remember heart 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 and then i heard 
I heard. That do. I heard. I heard. I heard a bird. <laughs> there you go. Who says? Come on, poet's license. I heard a bird. Doesn't that look pretty? See, I like that, and it finishes it off. It's all about the finish, isn't it? It's about finishing things. You know, and it's about throwing your style at it a little bit too. What do you think? So now, should we do that now? Should we transfer it? You up for it? Come on then. <laughs> so the way to transfer it is to actually do it now. You've practiced, right? And now you've got to, now you've just got to take the ball by the horns and do it. I'm not going to transfer it with. I'm not going to transfer it by flipping it over and doing all that because you've got to write it. So you might as well just do the thing in pencil. Use a soft pencil. Use what have I used here? I've used an F for fine. Does that rub out nicely? Let's check something. If I if I make a mistake, right? Let's say I do that. Let me see what happens if I rub it out with my pinky razor. See, some pencils rub out really well, and other pencils leave a bit of a smear. So that's not bad, the F. Let me let me try something out for you. Let me take, for example, HB, which is a bog standard. Most people have got an HB. Let's do this one. I heard. Right, that's the one that most people will be using. Now, if I rub that one out, what do I think? I can see it. I can see it more than the F pencil. Interesting, huh? Let me try. I'm going to go to an extreme now. 4B. B for black. I heard. It's very soft. You can feel it's soft when you do it. Well, I'm telling you, the F one's better than the black. Interesting, huh? Right, I'm sticking with the F then. And I'm going to not press hard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. <laughs> Just don't press too hard. I know, right, cup of tea. The pressure's on, girls and boys. Just remember, it's the loop. Have you decided what you want to say yet? That's the key. Right, we've done it how many times now? Come on, we've done it in a straight line. We've gone round, we've done it twice. <laughs> I can't even see which way. Oh yeah, that way, all right, cool. We can hold that thought and I'm gonna put it there so I can see, you know, like a little bit of a guide. That's a good idea, isn't it? And I'm going with me F pencil, F for Freddy, and I'm gonna put my little dots in again. And then I'm going to go along there like that. Do I want to put a line in? Really fine line. A really fine line. Yeah. Can you hear that cockerel? Right, there you go. In you go. Really fine. That'll do. It's not even straight. <laughs> right, shush, Barbara. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December. Or I heard a bird sing in the deep of December. You decide. I'm going for dark this time, I think. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December or the deep of December. I can't remember. I think it's the dark. Doesn't matter. Right, here we go. And don't forget, you just don't come up for it. I heard a bird sing. Are you in the same place as up there? I'm a bit further along than I should be. A magical thing. Okay. It's a bit rubbish. <laughs> it's, a little bit, it's a little bit of the pyrographing going on. You know, and they write, and they burn it in wood, and it starts out all lovely. The serenity prayer, and then the prayer gets crushed at the end because it didn't start in the middle. It's all right. That'll do. Come on, Barbara. 
You can always adjust it a little bit when you ink it, can't you? Yes, Mum. That'll do. You can always adjust it a bit when you ink it. This is not the final version, is it? No, Mum. <laughs> My dad's put on half a stone. Woohoo! Yeah, I mean, that's the whole gig here, isn't it? I've got to lose half a stone. I've got to lose a lot more than half a stone. What I've lost, my dad has gained. Cool. Super cool. He already looks a million times better just by putting on a little bit of weight. Because he was really skeletal. So, you know, half a stone. What a problem to have. Eat what you want. Eat anything. Eat Knickerbocker glories all day long. <gasps> I know. Knickerbocker glory. <laughs> Just had a memory. I remember when I was about 14 years old, right? Okay, story time. I was about 14 years old and I really fancied this fella. Have I told you this story? No, I don't think I have. I might have done. <laughs> and I worked in the little newspaper shop down the road. Anyway, so this fella was, he wanted to take me to the cinema, the matinee. Have I told this story already? No, anyway. So he was taking me to the matinee. I don't ask me what film it was. And I really liked this boat. It was really good looking. But I was only 14. So I'd done my morning shift. You know, it was like the summer holidays or something. And I'd done my morning shift at the, um, at the newspaper shop. And I ran home. And my mother, a German taskmaster, she says to me, you can go. I said, can you give me, can, can you give me a bit of money, mum, please? And she said, I will give you the money, but you have to wait for it. You have to line all the kitchen cupboards first, you know, with paper. I said, Mum, I was about to meet him in half an hour. And it's about a 15 minute run to the bus stop where I'm meeting him. She said, you're not going until you've done all these cupboards. All right. Tough love, that is. <laughs> and my little brother, who would have been four years younger than me, because he still is, right? I said, Steve, come on, hurry up. So this is what we did. Um, we, it was like mass production. You get the, there's a point to this story, right? Mass production. All the plates out, all the cups out, cut the, cut the lining paper, stick it in. Then Steve was behind me and he piled it all back in again. And I was onto the next cupboard all the way around the kitchen. Fortunately, it wasn't a huge kitchen. Okay. But nonetheless, it took a good half hour. Mass production, teamwork, Steve and I, vroom, 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 vroom. Got to go. Mum gave me a couple of quid and I was out the door. You know, I'll never forget this afternoon. I was so excited about this fella. Anyway, so we went to the cinema down in Chatham. We walked, we, he, was, he was annoyed. We didn't, it didn't start off well because I was late, right? So then we picked a pace up and I was sort of running along. He obviously had leg, longer legs than me. We were running down Chatham Hill to get to the cinema. And then when we got there, <laughs> we sat in the cinema, right? And, uh, and, um, and he had what we call WHT. <laughs> Come on. Do you remember what WHT means? Right? Can you remember? <laughs> anyway, you'll work it out. So I was sitting there and he was next to me and his hands started coming round here like this, right? And I had, I, I had my arms clenched so that he couldn't get in. Right, and his arm was coming around. It kept creeping around like this. And I had my hands clenched. I don't, that's why I don't remember what film it was, because I spent the entire time like that, right, checking out where his hands were. WHT, right, wandering hand. <laughs> so, so the date wasn't going very well, really, right? Because <laughs> first I was late, then he had WHT. We would had to run down the Chatham Hill. Then after the cinema, because we didn't, that didn't go very well, right? So he had a little bit of a, he had a long lip at that point. <laughs> so he said he'd take me to the Wimpy Bar for a burger, okay? <laughs> Here we go. So he sat in the Wimpy Bar, and this is when I actually kind of revealed my age. Because he had a bit of a burger, like a Wimpy Burger. Do you remember Wimpy Bar, the Wimpy Bars? That was in the in the life before 
McDonald's, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, and I, re I remember it as if it was yesterday, and it's such a long time ago. And he said he'd have a burger. And then the lady asked me what I would like. And I said, I'd like a nigger bog of glory. Because <laughs> that was my idea of a seriously good treat. A nigger bog of glory at Wimpy's. Absolutely, right? So, so anyway. And then he said to me, how old are you? Right? And he'd never asked me that before, because I did look older than my years, I must say. I was what they would call jailbait. <laughs> and I was tucking into my knickerbocker glory, and I said 14. So I thought, well, what's the big deal? We'd already established that I wasn't up for that, right? And you know what he did? He got up and walked out. <laughs> he left me sitting in the wimpy bar with my knickerbocker glory. I could swear I've told you this story before. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so there we go. The tale of the Knickerbocker glory. <sighs> Those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. <laughs> oh, life is good, you know. Life is good. Hmm. Right. So where were we? Breaks over. <laughs> Back on your heads. Come on. I've got to get this sorted out. I'll get my other glasses on. Yeah, 14. I'm sure I've told you that story before. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December. A magical thing and sweet to remember. Here we go. So we'll use our key and sweet to remember. Okay, now concentrate a bit more, Gray. And sweet to Keep looking up, make sure, right, heart, where am I? Yeah, okay, not too far. I might just give it one heart here because I seem to be going with larger handwriting. I heard, uh, yeah, round we go, on a roll now. I heard, uh, here we go again, bird sing in the Boy, I'll tell you what, you won't forget this verse in a hurry, will you? In the dark. <laughs> December. Right now, look. December, I'm, I've got a bit more room now, so I might have to put a little heart in and then say, yeah, all right. A magical thing. Yes. And sweet to remember. And sweet to remember. Cool. Heart. And then we got I heard again. I heard, I heard a little bird. I heard, I heard a little bird singing in the dark of December. See, we're making it up as we go along now. That reminds me, how's the gnome hunt going? <laughs> Somebody said it was more difficult this year. Do you think? I didn't think. I thought it was really easy. Is it because the images are a little bit smaller? Well, try doing it on a computer and not on your phone. Mm. Right, come on, inking time. Let's make it look good. Now comes the moment of decision. Double O five or O one. Oh, what do we think? Well, this is a cruddy one. I heard a bird. Well, we're not we're not going down that road, are we? Right, let's try another one. That's better. What happens if you hold it? It goes like a blob. Right, you don't want to do so you got to, oh, and... right, you're ready now. Here we go again, but I'm going to have to ignore what I wrote here and just go again. Is everybody all right? Is anybody there apart from me? Loving the gnome hunt. Some clues are easy and some are more challenging. Well, that's important. 
a burger in Wimpy was a real treat when I was a girl. It wasn't it? Loved those burgers much better than what we get nowadays. My parents banned me from going to Wimpy. <laughs> Do you know what I love about this group? It, we're, we're sort of the same era. Do you know? We're the same era, aren't we? A lot of us are. I mean, for our French and German and American friends, they'd be thinking, what are they on? What is going on with them? You know? I'm trying to think what there is in America. Denny's. Well, Wimpy Bar is like Denny's. Of course, sat in some Denny's at three o'clock in the morning. It's 24-7 over there. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Why would you do that? But they do the best eggs benedict in the world right okay here we go get your glasses on brace yourself we're going in now it's going to be permanent but the thing is all it is right and this is what you've got to know don't attach yourself to this artwork it's fun it's a play thing and if you've had it if you if you've used your loaf, you would have made a copy of it before you started. <laughs> right. Okay. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December. Here we go. And I've got to mush it up this way a little bit because that was rubbish. Okay, here we go. Do I want to rub it out first before I, I do, really? Do you know? Because I'm going in a different area, I'm going different, I've got to rub this out because I think it's easier to rub it out now. Only because I know I'm doing it differently. So where I'm writing is not where I'm going to be. I'm going freehand with this one. Oh, my God. Right, here we go. It's only a bit of paper. What's the worst that can happen? Gonna go quiet now though, apart from reading this out. I heard about Where are you? Right. Hold that there and go. And we're off. I heard a bird sing in the dark. Better, much better, Gray. Like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. I love it when it works, right. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December, a magical thing. Yeah, there you go. Cut the little dots. Wunderbar. You enjoying this? Right, here we go. And... Sweet to remember heart. I heard a. Uh. Do you know what I'm watching at the moment that I'm really enjoying and it's really getting on Dave's pip? <laughs> and here we go. We are of a certain era. I missed it the first time around. I never watched it. And I think it. Maybe it was because it was always on on a Sunday and I do TV on a Sunday. I don't know. Downton Abbey completely eluded me. Never watched Downton Abbey. It's brilliant. I love it. I'm watching the whole series. I'm like binge watching Downton Abbey at the moment. It's so good. It's such a brilliant escapist kind of series, isn't it? Period drama. And when you think that it was only a, a hundred years ago, I don't know. We've come quite a long way. They didn't have a wimpy bar then, I could tell you. Right, got to concentrate. Where are we? I heard a bird sing. A bird sing. I can't concentrate on anything else except this now. Birds sing in the dark of 
December heart a magical thing turns the corner and sweet to remember heart I heard I heard I heard a bird there you go and I tell you what that looks so nice and it's like a scribble but it actually has a meaning doesn't it so that's quite cool I like that when it's completely dry then I'll rub out the rest I could add little flashes of colour and here's the next thing if I wanted to right again I'm going to use this though as my little see in it goes there put that in there like that see what you can do if you want to now is tie them together so for example if we felt like it let's just do it on here just an idea it's a thought it's a thought so for example let's have a think I could go like that and I could go like that that'll do for the minute and then let's right holly leaves easy we've done these loads of times one two three and back the other way holly leaf down the middle sorted right next holly leaf one two three and back the other way thing about holly leaves is right one two three and back the other way bosh and then put a couple of them in bob's your uncle right there's your holly leaf right and de toi back the other way and down the center a couple of ball ball little berries not balls berries then we put another one in behind and de toi no that way and then up wrong angle see you can curl them a bit if you want see how we can curl it if you do just that side right there you go so now we've only got one side it's a side view see and de toi and back the other way that's a bit dodgy that one but you can do a side angle can't you there you go do a little bit of around the side like that that looks ropey right don't do that one two three now if i wanted to do a side let's have a look that's it just a little tiny sliver around there and that comes around to nothing at the end right okay so let's start with a turning your artwork so bring your artwork to you let's do a little let's do a little bit of holly here and this one's pointing this way so we go one two three and back the other way and down the middle then we'll do one behind one two three and back the other way like so do a couple of ball berries that looks good we'll do another one here one two three four five six Maybe one on the other side of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cut the berries. That'll look nice. Do another one here. One. Have you done your decorating yet in your house? We haven't. I've done a little tiny bit, but not much. I've got to make a list. I'm making a list. Da, 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 da. I really do need to make a list this afternoon and have a little think about where I'm headed here. The kids are going to be home on Sunday and Monday and I haven't even... No, I haven't even made the beds up yet. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It will be fine. I kept saying that last week. But it will be. Look, see, this is quite pretty. It's fine. The main thing is they're going to get home safely. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a holly berry. Bom, 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 bom. See, it looks nice. And then you can decide how many do you want to do. Do you want to do another one? Just keep sticking them on. There you go. Just decide how many you want to add. So it's going to be quite busy. They're not going to be just sporadic, are they? They, they is quite bushy, a holly bush. <laughs> they're quite nice. Right, and then you can, and this is the thing, these little berries here, or these little 
whatever they are that Marine has done, what we're doing now is suddenly they become part of our illustration, see? And then if you think, well, I don't like that one, because you've only done it in pencil, you do it again. Easy. So that's that's a, a, a possibility. But this is what this is all about, you see, is about practicing. Just put a little holly berry, a little holly sprig in, eh? That will work nicely. Now let me see, what do I need to tell you about? Uh, next week, Groovy Tuesday, uh, Paul, he's definitely doing Groovy Tuesday. Diane Bourne got engaged in the Wimpy in 1964. Well, I say, I say, I say, there you go. That makes my day. And I got massively rejected in the Wimpy. When was I 14? That would have made me, that was 1973. I got jilted. <laughs> jilted by Jethro. That was his name. Never forgot. <laughs> I never forgot that either. <laughs> well, congratulations, Diane Bourne. I say, what a result. Hey, hmm. where was I? I've lost my thread now. Oh, yeah. So Tuesday next week at 10 o'clock, um, Paul is going to head up the last of the, the Groovy Shack sessions until the new year. So he'll be back again. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 4th of January. But you are going to get together next week, please. That'd be nice to finish off. And then 4th of January. And then Linda's going to be joining us um, pretty soon after that because we're going, we're going for it. Yeah, we've got – this week's been a real planning week at, um, at Clarity. Lots of forward planning. That's what the week's all about this week. So it's been really good. We've got some – really smashing ideas coming up so that's cool and um yeah so then next thursday that's us again we're going to hang out together next week can't we i hope i'll be here anyway and maybe grace will be able to join me maybe i'll get the kids to come in and say hello would you that'd be nice wouldn't it would you like that of course you would yeah i'll, I'll bring the kids in if i can get them out of the sack <laughs> oh jet lag jet laggy that's the thing isn't it um and then we've got our christmas lunch with the staff with the clarity team that's on that's on thursday so after that's right so after you and i have hung out for an hour and done a little bit of doodling and and canoodling um we'll we're going to tunbridge wells to the spa for our Christmas lunch. Hopefully that will still be in place. And then that's the 23rd. The 24th we've got Christmas Eve. That's when we have our Christmas celebration. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, and then on Christmas Day at 10 o'clock, if you're up for it, maybe you could just pop in and we'll, we won't do any doodling, but we'll have a we'll have a coffee together, hey? Eh? And and a mince pie or whatever you fancy, or a little tipple, whatever, whatever you fancy, bring it on Christmas Day. We won't hang out for an hour, just for half an hour or so, just have a little chat together and that. We'll do that. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just, um, yeah, let's do that. We discussed it last week, didn't we? We'll do that. And we'll, we'll think about the year just gone and we'll think about the year ahead and we'll be full of good cheer and keep each other company. Hmm? And then in January, we're going to start again on um, two days after Paul. So it'll be about the 6th of January, I should think. I haven't got any television until the weekend after that. So we've got, we'll, be back in the, we'll be back in the business, but, um, but our first shack will be then. I'll tell, I'll tell you all again next week. And then I'm going to make a plan. The bus driver's making a plan for next year. And we'll, we'll just carry on, you know. I've got no plans for going anywhere. I'm not stopping the shack. I think it, it's a very 
handy little gathering place for all of us, me included. And, uh, and as long as you keep turning up, I'll keep turning up, you know. So I think that's about it. I'm blogging something really super at the moment. We're doing whistle-stop tours in New York, Paris, and London. So that's quite fun. And there's a really good offer on those beautiful dyes. Um, Gracie, well, so Karen Smith, I blogged about it last night. She and her daughter are over in New York at the moment. They went sh shopping to New York and for a little jolly, lucky girls. And they're treating Grace this evening. They're going to Chicago on Broadway. I know. Lucky. Well, they're all jabbed and vaccinated and boosted and masked up. So, you know, life goes on. It's just how you handle it. Mm, just got to be sensible. Do what you think is right for you, you know. And uh, so they're having a wonderful time. And Grace's got a smashing treat lined up for them as well. Something very New York. So that would be lovely. I love to think that Karen and Grace are hanging out together in New York. Lucky girls and their daughter and her daughter. So that's nice. We wish them a fabulous evening. And, and other than that, I would say, um, yeah, as far as this goes, well, let's see. Why don't you finish this up, you know, give this a little go, put some holly in. This is lovely. I like this, don't you? I think this is really nice. And then next week, what we'll do is, just to tie it together, we'll put a really nice border. I think we'll do a little border around this one. And we'll have the year in review. And while we're talking about the year in review, we'll just do something sweet to this one. If you want to color this one in early, then do. If you want to color in, I'll color mine in early, I think. Or, or don't color it in. Leave it. And we'll colour it in together and we'll do it in a different way. I'll, I'll do something different that's equally beautiful. We'll just do a little trick. OK, let's do that. That'd be nice. And. Um, yeah, let's do that next week. Anyway, I've got a crack on. What am I doing today? I better go and make some beds. Do a bit of laundry. It looks like a bomb's hit it in there. It looks like a bomb's hit it in my house. <laughs> and I better think about some presents as well because I still haven't actually I cannot actually say that I've done all my present shopping I haven't done anything because I've been making stuff and I, I haven't glazed it yet <laughs> and so it could all be a calamity but there you go living on the edge it's what I do best <laughs> have a great weekend be safe lots of love and thank you for being there Bye-bye now. Hmm. And thanks, Paul.